Hello everyone, welcome to Mona's Eastern Kitchen and today as a Diwali special, I'll prepare restaurant style paneer tikka. Paneer tikka is a vegetarian starter prepared by marinating cottage cheese or paneer pieces in spices and grilling them together with pieces of capsicum, onion and tomato. It's a simple recipe and today I'll grill the paneer pieces in an oven. However, you can grill them in a microwave in conventional mode or cook them on a tawa or a grilling pan. So, let's get started. Here are the ingredients. I have taken 200 grams of paneer or cottage cheese, half cup hung curd. I have hung the curd for 30 minutes to remove excess water, half teaspoon carom seeds or ajwain, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon black pepper powder, 1 teaspoon garam masala powder, 1 teaspoon dried fenugreek or kasuri methi, salt to taste, 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, 5 tablespoon mustard oil, 1 tablespoon gram flour or basin, 1 small green capsicum, 1 small yellow capsicum, 1 large tomato, 1 small onion and half teaspoon of lemon juice. Wash all the vegetables, cut the capsicums, deseed and dice them. Peel and dice the onions and separate its layers. Cut the tomatoes, deseed and dice them. Now keep the vegetables aside. Take the paneer and cut them. Dice the paneer into half to one inch thickness. It is important to cut all the vegetables and cottage cheese into the same size. Also ensure that the cottage cheese is not cut very thin, else they will break easily. Keep aside for later use. Heat a small pan and add 3 tablespoons of mustard oil and let it smoke. Lower the flame and add 1 tablespoon of gram flour or basin and keep stirring continuously ensuring that no lumps are formed. Then cook for 3 to 4 minutes till the raw smell of basin disappears and the basin is cooked and forms a homogeneous paste with the oil. Then turn off the heat and let it cool. Take a large bowl and add the hung curd. Now add the gram flour mixture, ginger and garlic paste, carom seeds or ajwain, crushed or powdered black pepper, chili powder, garam masala powder, salt to taste, dried fenugreek or kasuri methi, mustard oil, and mix well into a smooth paste. Then add the lemon juice and mix it. Now add the capsicum, onion and tomato pieces and give it a good mix. Now add the paneer slices and gently coat the paneer pieces with the masala.
marinated for 20 to 30 minutes. Take the bamboo sticks or skewers and skewer the paneer, onion, tomato and capsicum pieces alternating the different color pieces with the paneer. Place the skewers or bamboo sticks on a large deep dish and position them so that the excess marination will drip down from the tikka. In the meanwhile, preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. Take a baking tray and place the parchment sheet or baking sheet on it and brush some oil. Then place the paneer skewers on the parchment sheet. And drizzle some oil over it. Place the tray in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Pleat the paneer tikka with some lemon wedges, sliced onions and green mint yogurt chutney. And sprinkle some chaat masala or lemon juice before serving. Enjoy your homemade restaurant style paneer tikka. Do check the description box below for the detailed recipe and some additional tips to make a perfect restaurant style paneer tikka. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel.